So I'm Lila Girash. I'm the incoming editor-in-chief of the Journal of Biological Chemistry. And I just wanted to make a few comments to say that uh, I can tell immediately the impact that Chuck Samuel has had on the journal. He's one of the people that has played a leadership role, spearheading our papers of the week, and doing a wonderful job as an associate editor. And it's just uh, a celebration of his career and his involvement with JBC is something that I didn't want to pass up the opportunity to participate in. So thank you, Chuck, for everything you've done for JBC and many more years to come of your career. Keep going. It's been terrific. Chuck was an editorial board member for eight years, and then in 2002 he became an associate editor, and he's been an associate editor since then. That's 14 years, and just a rough calculation would mean that he's probably handled somewhere around four or 5,000 manuscripts during that time. That's a lot. In addition to acting as an associate editor, like I do, uh, he uh, also uh, has been in charge of our papers of the week, and uh, he, by this he actually has to uh, review uh, the uh, individual uh, papers that are submitted for this, which ones are appropriate, and check them out in some other way. So this, he's been doing this for quite a while, and that's a very important uh, service. The other thing I should talk to you about, uh, Chuck, with the JBC is he's also an author. Uh, the editors are also authors, and if you didn't know this, the uh, editors that we editors actually get our papers reviewed too. Chuck published his first paper in the JBC in 1970 uh, when he was a graduate student with Jesse Rabinovitz at uh, uh, Berkeley, and then he published uh, two more as a, a graduate student in the JBC. And since then, uh, Chuck, uh, by our count, has published uh, 31 more papers in the JBC since graduate school, including uh, one this year, and we hope you'll continue to do uh, many more. The, um, uh, as an associate editor, Chuck, uh, like the rest of the associate editors, has been active in uh, soliciting and uh, publishing uh, many reviews and thematic uh, series, and this is uh, very important, and I'd like to thank Chuck for all his uh, help in doing this. I first met Chuck when, he be, uh, when I became an AE uh, for JBC, and I have to say I've always been very impressed with uh, his scholarship and his fairness, his view of biochemistry and the rigor of his science. And I also, uh, he, he did a fantastic job uh, taking care of the papers of the week for JBC, which uh, is a very important job for, for the journal. And I also, I've always been jealous of Chuck as well because he lives in Santa Barbara and has 350 perfect days a year. Uh, and, uh, you know, of course I live in Baltimore and our winters aren't so great, but uh, so I've really appreciated getting to know Chuck, a great biochemist and a real asset to our community. Chuck and I have been associate editors of the Journal of Biological Chemistry for quite a long time, probably more than a decade, and Chuck is a wonderful colleague. Um, his deep knowledge of virology is just invaluable, and um, his personal qualities are, as many people there will know, spectacular. Um, very talented, very bright, very modest, very warm, real people person. Um, one of the things we share apart from uh, our common uh, dedication to the JBC are um, ha uh, two sons, uh, both in their mid-30s, both per pursuing careers in medicine. And so when we're not talking about JBC or virology or um, protein structure, we're often talking about the newest and latest things that our sons are doing, and of course that's a special pleasure. So I, I can't say too many good things about Chuck, and I wish him the very best.